Hey guys, I'm Juliette. Welcome back to Celeb Bites. This is a show where we test out our favorite celebrity recipes. Today we're trying out Snoop Dogg's OG fried bologna sandwich. This is from his cookbook, From Crook to Cook. I'm so excited to try it. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing for Snoop Dogg's fried bologna sandwich is we have to cut our bologna. It sounds a little weird, but that's what Snoop Dogg says in the recipe. We're gonna add three bologna slices in our sandwich, so here we have it. And then we just cut the bologna from the end to the center to create a little like slit in the bologna. I don't know why we have to do this, but Snoop Dogg is the king of gin and juice, so we have to follow what he says and follow the recipe exactly. I don't know if he's trolling us by making us cut it, but we have to do what the recipe calls for. It almost looks like a little Pac-Man. This is a fried bologna sandwich, so we have to get it all toasted on this pan. So we're gonna first melt our butter. We're melting one tablespoon of butter onto our pan. Let's spread it around. Now the butter's all melted, we're gonna put our bread to get toasted up on the pan. And you're gonna toast it for two minutes on each side. So we're gonna, we're gonna wait for that to get toasted. Snoop Dogg is one of the most influential rappers of all time, but did you know he released a country song in 2008 called My Medicine featuring Willie Nelson? This man has so many talents. In our other Snoop Dogg episode, we made Snoop Dogg's Billion Dollar Bacon and we talked about how Snoop Dogg also came out with a reggae album. So he's doing rap music, he's doing reggae music, and now he's doing country music. This man, you know, could do any type of music in the world, it's crazy. The only ingredient that concerns me a little bit in this recipe is definitely the bologna. The last time I had bologna was when I was like five years old and it just like I don't know why it like traumatized me I literally had to spit it out. I was so disgusted by it but we're gonna see I feel like your taste buds change when you get older you start liking different things all right so we got it all toasty now we're going to fry our bologna we're gonna get our three slices of bologna oh it's sizzling up we're gonna add it all our bologna and just wait for it to get all sizzled up so I don't know if you guys knew this, but Snoop Dogg's IQ level is 147 and the average human IQ is between 85 to 115. So this makes Snoop Dogg a legitimate genius. I know he's an amazing rapper and actor, but I didn't know he had an IQ that was like genius level. So we're just gonna flip our bologna. It's all toasted and fried up and we're gonna add our American cheese on top so it gets all melted up. In the recipe, it says to add a piece of American cheese on each slice of bologna, which is interesting because I usually put my bread and then put the cheese on the bread in the pan, but putting it on each bologna slice, very interesting thing that Snoop Dogg does. So I'm always learning something with these recipes. As you guys know, Snoop Dogg is one of the best rappers in the game, but he's actually never won a Grammy award. He's been nominated 17 times but has never walked away with an award, which is crazy because he won an Emmy for the halftime show at the Super Bowl, but he's never won a Grammy in his entire career. We need some justice for Snoop Dogg and we need him to win a Grammy. All right, the cheese is melted. We're gonna start assembling the sandwich and get to our taste test. We have our two pieces of bread that we fried earlier and we have to put the bologna and cheese on one side and then we're gonna put mustard on the other. So you have to split it up. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just one single like, piece of cheese and bologna. All right, so we folded it up. We're gonna put it on one side and then Snoop Dogg in the recipe, he says to put mustard on the other side. Hack, shake your mustard before you use it because it'll just come out like watery. That always happens to me. So we're just gonna put our mustard on one side, drizzle some mustard. That was a nice drizzle. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that was like perfect. So Snoop Dogg's secret ingredient for this recipe is barbecue chips. He says to pack these chips on the sandwich as much as you could get on the sandwich. So we're just gonna pack these on. Okay. I don't know how many will fit on here. I'm gonna try to put the most I can. Okay. I think that's the most I could get on this sandwich. Now we're gonna start seeing if we could even get this closed. All right, one. Two. Okay, there we go. So for the moment of truth, Snoop Dogg's OG fried bologna sandwich, let's get to taste testing it. It is actually really good. I'm, I'm shocked because I'm not a fan of bologna. And this, the bologna in this sandwich is really good. You get a nice crunch from the chips and then mustard too gives it that like really like tangy taste. I would rate this honestly a 10 out of 10. I'm like honestly shook because it is, I think one of the, probably one of the best sandwiches I had. Like I would definitely make this again. It's so easy to make. All the recipes we've done for Snoop Dogg, we'll have to do another one. They've always been good. The billion dollar bacon was fire. This one, 10 out of 10. 
He's on a roll. I haven't had bologna since I was five. As I told you guys before, I was traumatized when I had it the first time. Second time, I'm, I think I'm a fan of bologna now. I think I'm gonna start having a fried bologna sandwich now on the, on the regular. If you're at home right now and you're hungry, go, go make this sandwich right now, I'm telling you. I think one of the best recipes we've had on Celeb Bites. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications and comment below what celebrity recipe we should try next time. I'll see you guys later, bye.